Have you ever noticed it looks like South America could fit into Africa? Well, in 1910, a scientist named Alfred Wegener noticed the shapes of the continents looked like they could fit together like a puzzle. Besides the shape of the continents, matching rock and fossils were found on opposite sides of the ocean. Wegener hypothesized all the continents were once joined together and have slowly drifted apart. He named the original landmass Pangaea, which means all lands. Today, we call Wegener's theory continental drift. Since that time, more research has been done and new technology such as sonar and deep sea drilling have been invented. We now have a more accurate theory, plate tectonics. Plate tectonics states that large sections of the Earth's crust are moving, not just the continents themselves. As time passes, each tectonic plate is moving very slowly, but they create different geological events such as earthquakes, volcanoes, and mountains. The edges of these plates are one of three types of boundaries. Converging boundary, diverging boundary, or transforming boundary. Converging boundaries are where two tectonic plates are moving towards each other. These boundaries cause earthquakes, volcanoes, and can form mountains and ocean trenches. Diverging boundaries are where plates move away from each other. Diverging boundaries can cause volcanoes and seafloor spreading. Lastly, transforming boundaries are where two plates are sliding past each other and they can cause earthquakes. In coming videos, we'll take a closer look at the earthquakes, volcanoes, and mountains plate tectonics cause.